Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mudah-mudahan di hari Jumat ini saudara-saudara semua sudah berkumpul di depan layar kaca sebab sebentar lagi kita akan menikmati lantunan ayat-ayat suci Al-Qur'an dari Syekh Muhammad. Harapan saya saudara-saudara semua sudah berkumpul di depan layar kaca bersama Al-Qur'an Al-Karim. Saudara buka Al-Qur'annya, kita lanjutkan ayat-ayat yang kita baca dari mulai hari pertama sampai kemarin. Dan saudara berdoa lah kepada Allah saat mendengar suara dari Syekh Muhammad karena bentar lagi inilah salah satu saat terbaik untuk kita berdoa kepada Allah. Mudah-mudahan segala kesusahan kita di pagi hari Jumat ini Allah angkat segala persoalan kita Allah tolong, segala doa kita Allah jamah. Mari kita sama-sama mendengarkan Syekh Muhammad membaca ayat Al-Qur'an. Fadzal. A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. ولقد آتينا موسى الكتاب وقفينا من بعده بالرسل وآتينا عيسى بن مريم البينات وأيدناه بروح القدس أفكلما جاءكم رسول بما لا تهوى أنفسكم استكبرتم ففريقا كذبتم وفريقا تقتلون وقالوا قلوبنا غل بل لعنهم الله بكفرهم فقليلا ما يؤمنون ونق الله العظيم الحمد لله فمن ساكة فدا من نار علمان داري شاي محمد Baik Al-Quri Al-Quran Fasamillah wa ansitul ala kuntur hamud InsyaAllah menamdan kita berada dalam Sofanan berahmati Allah SWT So today we do not Talk about giving Because we have Special guest from Seattle America uh, He is uh, My friend Syekh Abdul Bari Yahya Alhamdulillah coming from America And now we listen to uh, His nasihah Syekh Abdul Bari How are you fine? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. Alhamdulillah, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. You can explain about yourself and about your activities in Indonesia or in America or Europe. Yes. Uh, I am um, an instructor for Al Maghrib Institute and uh, I'm also an imam in uh, Seattle, Washington. Most of the time I'm teaching uh, either at one of the masajid, uh, the mosques inside Seattle on the weekdays and the weekends usually Uh, I'm going around either for a conference or teaching an Al-Maghrib seminar. And the uh, Al-Maghrib seminar is, a, are, these seminars are specifically uh, geared towards people in America, in the West, uh, in Canada, in the UK. Uh, and now, alhamdulillah, we just opened uh, a branch uh, in Kuala Lumpur. And uh, it gives the opportunity for people who are normally busy on the weekdays and do not have the time to spend and devote themselves to study and seeking knowledge in Islam. And so it seeks to revive the spirit of Islamic knowledge uh, in the times that we are living in right now. And so currently we have uh, um, classes in uh, many, many uh, cities in the United States and Canada and the UK. And hopefully we will be able to start up also in Indonesia. Ah, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Teaching seminar for Muslim is biasa, but teaching seminar for non-Muslim in America or Europe maybe ini tidak biasa. Sejak kita si Abdul Bari berdakwah di Amerika dan di Eropa dan berhasil menarik banyak orang kemudian untuk mengetahui tentang what Islam is, tentang apa itu Islam. And he has encouraged many many people about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Saya sempat mendengar salah satu seminar saudara tentang bagaimana beliau bercerita tentang Rasulullah SAW. Okay, you can the the seminars uh, that we have are in about different topics related to fiqh, related to fear of the Prophet SAW, uh, and also uh, many topics that we establish and we put, uh, we teach the fundamentals uh, of Islam so that the Muslims. Uh, can be well equipped to make da'wah, to call others to Islam. Because when you're living in, especially in the West, in non-Muslim countries, we have to learn about our religion because it is the most 
misunderstood religion now in the world. Mm. And so a lot of people, they um, come and approach the Muslims. Mm. And sometimes they ask very simple questions or very controversial questions. And so how do we teach them? And so this, do these teach seminars, them? they teach the Muslims uh, and educate the Muslims uh, in our religion. Uh, how much can we see our brother Muslim in America after uh, 9-1-1? Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 9-11, yeah, 9-1-1 9-1-1 Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He does things uh, And everything that happens There's wisdom in it And there's benefits Sometimes we don't see the benefits But uh, there are benefits That only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows Like for example now After 9-11 because Islam has come to the forefront and the media is speaking about Islam. So people are curious, who are these Muslims? And even though they are speaking badly about Islam, it is still giving Muslims the opportunity to make da'wah. And because people are curious, they want to know what Islam is. And when they go and find out either through the internet, through the library, you're asking other people, and they become curious, more curious, and then eventually there are more people accept, accepting Islam every single day. And so, and, and actually, more people have accepted Islam after 9-11 than before, and they are still accepting Islam. The more people, the, the more people in the media speak badly about Islam, the more people are curious. By the way, I think Uh, 9-1-1 itu dan 9-11 itu sebenarnya adalah cara Allah pemirsa untuk membuka kesempatan bagi banyak sekali dakwah Islam menjadi diri terbuka sebab kita sama-sama uh, mengetahui sejak itu banyak orang-orang Amerika yang mencari tahu tentang keberadaan Islam It's very interesting uh, listening you speak about Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Maybe in the first segment you can tell us about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yeah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the best of mankind. He was the best husband, the best politician. He was the best in everything that he did because he's an example for us, example for mankind. And in order for us to improve our condition, we have to emulate the best. And the best is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And also the time that we are living in, people are uh, making. Uh, cartoons about Islam, speaking badly about Islam. So if we love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have to defend the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we cannot defend the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam unless we know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Knowing him first, yeah? Yes. And that love him? Yes. And that's given? Mm-hmm. Yes. In order for us to know anybody, we need to, or in order for us to love anyone, we need to know that person. And we know already But Ustaz Yusuf Mansur, I'm pretty sure, has talked many times about the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the obligation for us to love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as part of our faith, part of our iman. And so it is mandatory upon us to love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, anyone who hates the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a kafir, a non-Muslim. Indonesia di dalam salah satu ayat di dalam surah Ali Amran Allah berfirman Qul inni kuntum tuhibbun Allah Fattabi'uni yuhbibkum Allah Wa yaghfir lakum zunubakum Wallahu ghafurur rahim Katakanlah kalau kita mencintai Allah Maka pintunya adalah lewat Nabi Muhammad SAW Kita harus mencintai Muhammad SAW Lalu kemudian kalau kita mencintai Rasulullah Muhammad Allah akan mengampuni semua desa kita, menghapus segala kesalahan kita, dan kemudian membuat kita berubah kita punya hidup, dan Allah maha pengampun lagi maha pengampun. Kita saksikan yang mau lewat dulu, insya Allah kita akan lanjutkan nanti masih bersama si Abdul dari Yahya. Alhamdulillah pemirsa, it's amazing knowing that saya Abdul Bari asalnya adalah dari Vietnam. Kemudian beliau menetap lama tinggal di Amerika, kemudian melanjutkan studi di Madinah, ya, universiti dan alhamdulillah beliau kemudian menjadi juru dakwah di eh, Amerika, Eropa, Kanada dan kemudian masuk 
ke Asia dan sekarang ini masuk ke Indonesia lewat Jakarta. Alhamdulillah. E, tadi beliau sudah menjelaskan tentang bagaimana mengikuti Rasulullah SAW, mencintai Rasulullah SAW. Oke, okay, saya ambil dari How we do follow Muhammad SAW? Can you explain for Yes. Uh, to follow the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is something that is very important in our time right now because we Muslims we have to show the non-Muslims the example of how true Muslims should be and of course the best example is the best example of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Uswatun Hasan yes Uswatun Hasan and a lot unfortunately a lot of Muslims now they don't follow the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or they delay in following him sometimes. They say, oh, tomorrow, maybe next week, <laughs> maybe after I get married. But that's not how the companions of the yeah, Prophet yeah, yeah, yeah. were. And the companions, when they would hear something from the Prophet they would follow right away. Immediately. Like, yes, immediately, without delay. Like, <laughs> we hear and we obey. We have in yes. Indonesia, Samina <laughs> wa Analisa. <laughs> yes, it's not only Indonesia. Not in Turkey. What is it? What is it? It's not only Indonesia. It's everybody, oh. everywhere in the world right now. The Muslims in America, in Canada, in Europe, in uh, many other places is the same type of thing. That's the problem we have now. The companions they used to follow when they were here, they would follow when they knew it was prohibited, haram. They would leave it right away, just like when the prohibition of alcohol. Mm. Before it was permissible. Then when it was haram, when the, some of them were drinking, they would leave it. Right? Leave. Throw it away. They didn't say, "Okay, let me finish this." <laughs> no. Not only that, but they smashed the container. Let me fifty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fifty until I retire, until I graduate, until after school, you know, university, and all all the time. But if we want Allah. To respond to us when we ask Ya Allah, we have to respond to Allah first. Oh, mashallah. We have to respond to Allah first, and that's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says, Ya ayuha ladina amanu istajibu lillahi wa lrasul ida daakum lima yuhiyikum. Or you who believe, give your response to Allah and His Messenger when they call you to that which gives you life. Go, go, yeah. Uh, azan manggil aja ya kita masih asik kerja rapat dagang ya kan Allah udah manggil kita masih ada di warung kita masih ada di sekolah untuk ilmu sih untuk ilmu tapi S2 sholatnya jam 5 masa S2 sholatnya jam 5 kenapa S2 sholatnya jam 5 karena kelasnya itu kelas sore <laughs> oke okay, continue yes during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the instinct was to follow uh. immediately If there's a prohibition, to leave it immediately. One time, uh, Abdullah bin Rawaha, mm-hmm. in Juma, he was coming to the masjid. And outside, he was still outside the masjid. Mm-hmm. The messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saw people were standing up in the back of the masjid. Mm-hmm. So he told them, Ijlisu, everybody sit down. And Abdullah bin Rawaha, hearing that command from the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was outside the masjid. But he sat down, even in the sun. Because for them, it was instinctive, immediate following. They were afraid to go against the orders. They feeling to know Rasulullah. Yes, because they loved, when they hear his voice, immediately they follow. Oh, that's how the companions were. Uh, but that's the big problem we have now. Makanya kalau disebut itu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, kita kan harus mengucapkan Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Barakat itu yang paling dekat, yang paling kecil, karena kita harus langsung. Okay, close the segment with your last statement. Alhamdulillah, you know, in order for us Muslims to come back to the Qur'an and the Sunnah, the Qur'an and the Sunnah, the Qur'an, we have it with us. The Sunnah, we have it also. And Islam is perfect. The problem we have is how we respond to the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Mm-hmm. And if we respond to it quickly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to us also. And that's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, فَعَرَّفْ إِلَى اللَّهِ فِي الرَّخَاءَ Know Allah in times of ease, and then He will know you in times of hardship. Indah sekali pemirsa, tapi kita harus lihat dulu tayangan yang berikut ini. Tetap di wisata di antara saya, kita masih masuk dan sehat rumah. Si Abdul Bari ini adalah sahabat baru buat saya. Saya kenal juga beliau lewat saya eh, Amar. Nanti berada Amar juga kita akan undang ke Indonesia. Mungkin Jumat kapan itu kalau dia datang ke tanah air. 
Baik, kita akan masih melanjutkan mendengar eh, penuturan beliau tentang bagaimana kita mencintai Rasulullah dan langsung menjawab panggilan dari Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Alhamdulillah um, I first of all would just like to say that um, I really appreciate the opportunity to be on this show, this wonderful show that everybody in Indonesia should take advantage of to learn from the knowledge of the Ustaz and to also make time to learn the religion because when we don't make time for the Quran we, it's as if we are saying the Quran is not important enough for us to make time for it so that's why it shows like this also make time for this show write it in your schedule to listen and to benefit from such uh, knowledge and reminders that we need every single day to live, okay. to be successful in this life and in your after. Alhamdulillah, sayang sekali waktu kita terbatas, tapi saudara masih bisa mengirimkan uh, saran, kritik, atau pertanyaan ke Twitter kami, at Yusuf underscore Mansur, atau email ke wisata atiantv at yahoo.com. Saudara-saudara juga bisa mengirim pertanyaan lewat saya, ya, ke Syekh Abdul Bari, barangkali kita nanti ada jalan-jalan ke Amerika, barang-barang, Ya, law sama tum tum empat lek hal yang dipursa di ikhaya anak mutakalim di di muhadarah. Nah, no diamond. We we also always welcome you, <laughs> but maybe uh, Obama. If he doesn't welcome you, it's not right. I'm from Obama. President Obama has to give you the visa. I don't give visa. Baik, Amin Sa. We love to have you. Sampai ketemu lagi. Terima kasih, Zara. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak. Ya. Sampai ketemu lagi hari Senin yang akan datang. Setiap hari Jumat kita ada kajian atau ada tema tentang krisis. Alhamdulillah kita bisa menghadirkan tamu-tamu dari luar negeri. Alhamdulillah sampai ketemu lagi. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.